Good morning, we're with Sean Mindrum here of Comanche Creek Farms in sunny Chico, California. Um, Sean, would you tell us a little bit about this farm, how many acres, types of crops you got going here? Well, Comanche Creek's been around for a little over 22 years. Um, it used to be a little bit down the road, so now we've moved it to a larger farm, which is approximately 50 acres, approximately 40 farmable, but uh, we rotate our crops seasonally. Um, we grow everything from heirloom tomatoes to cherry tomatoes to okra to tomatillos to lettuce. Everything changes seasonally, of course. Um, our biggest crops tend to be in the summer months. Um, we... I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so, oh, great. So when you're growing these crops, who is your, who is your consumer base? Where, do, where does your food go? Mostly south, of course. Um, Earls, organics, veritable vegetables, um, green leaf, and then now we're um, fortunate enough to send it even as far as New York City. So. Outstanding. Uh, New York City, is that an air freight situation? Or? Correct. We drive it down on uh, a refrigerated truck to the airport in San Francisco and flies out from San Francisco to New York. Wow, that's pretty far reaching from Chico, California. Well, we, we, we also send it up as far as Seattle. So it's Outstanding. So what do you see this farm purpose being? Well, I mean, I it's sustainable as possible. I mean, the idea, hopefully within the next three to four years, is to become so sustainable that we can even remove plastics. Um, you know, there are some things that will be a little bit of a hurdle, but, you know, that's part of the challenge of, you know, being a farmer in this day and age. You know, the, the, other, the other issue that we face is labor issue, but with having a good solid core crew and being able to take care of that crew, um, we should be able to garner and keep our products consistent and ever growing. So. That is all wonderful, Susan. What can we look forward to? <laughs> coming up here in the next uh, week with all the weather we've got going on, we'll have heirlooms coming. Uh, okra will be coming. All the um, red tomatoes from early girls to big beef will be coming up. Um, we've got uh, tomatillos, which we're standing behind. And then as the summer months progress, um, we'll have pomegranates. Um, and then this year we'll have figs and um, minimal amount of stone fruit from pluots to plums to white nectar. So really just trying to offer a nice broad base of what we, will grow well here? We grow on all varieties up to 394 different varieties of things on this property. From fruit to squash to um, tomatoes to okra to uh, winter turnips. I mean, we pretty much try to grow all seasons and try to be sustainable throughout those seasons. That would be why you have such a broad offering. Correct. Yeah. Well, outstanding. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you.